Hey guys, this is Christian and welcome to another episode of Love Bound. It's good to be back with you. I haven't done an episode in a while now, so I've just been busy working and whatnot. But it's great to be back with you. And I got a question from this guy asking me if, since I'm a virgin, if I expect to meet a girl who's a virgin too. And he's saying how he's having a hard time with this particular issue and just asking me what my thoughts are and if I would marry a non-virgin girl. And the answer to that question is yes, I would marry someone who wasn't a virgin. Uh, it's not a condition of mine that the woman has to have a spotless past. And even though I'm still a virgin, you know, we, we all make mistakes and uh, I really, really believe in forgiveness and I want to love everyone with the love of Jesus and the whole, you know, core of the gospel is forgiveness and that our sins have been forgiven. And I've been forgiven just as much as anyone. So I really want to extend that forgiveness to other people and, you know, of course, my wife more than anyone. So if she's made mistakes in the past, um, yeah, that will hurt, you know, and it's, it is a desire. You could say that I would like to meet someone who was a virgin. I mean, it would be a preference. Because I do think there is a special blessing in two people that have waited to be with each other and they haven't been sexually intimate with anyone else. There is a, definitely a special blessing in that and just the stability that comes with it. But um, I actually, you know, I was in love with a girl in the past that wasn't a virgin. And although it did hurt and I was disappointed... Uh, it didn't change how I saw her. It didn't change how I felt about her. You know, I, my feelings remained the same. So I really didn't look down on her at all. And I don't think anyone should. You know, you're not better just because you're a virgin. So, and, you know, people have different stories. Some people come from a really good, you know, home environment like I do. And some people don't. But God can restore anything. And He can make anything good that wasn't before. So... Now, um, like this guy, he's saying like he's struggling with this, and th that's completely understandable because even though it's not a deal breaker for me that the girl has to be a virgin, and like if she's not a virgin, it's not a deal breaker, but it, it will hurt, you know, and there will be things that need to probably be worked through in the relationships. Um, and so be honest with yourself if you are, if that's what you're facing right now, like you're dating someone who, you know, isn't a virgin and they didn't wait whatever, you know, they be honest with those feelings with yourself and more in that because it is a loss. You know, if you had a desire that you would like to meet a virgin and marry someone who was, then, you know, don't feel bad and think that, oh, man, I, I can't think this way. I shouldn't feel these feelings because they are real and it, it's okay. Um, so just be honest with that and talk to friends and people, pre preferably older people that have more experience than you, um, and just work through it. Because I think the most important thing is that you love each other and that you really want to be with each other, that you're committed. And if you are committed to each other, then I fully believe you can work through anything. So, I, I, you know, it would be such a bummer if I would turn down the woman of my dreams just based on the fact that she wasn't a virgin. That's, that just seems really stupid to me. Um, so, since I haven't worked through this particular issue, like I haven't, you know, I did have those feelings with that girl in the past, but we never ended up dating, um, for different reasons, but, so I don't have the experience of actually walking through that process of healing, you know, from that kind of disappointment and whatnot, but probably what I would do if I was in that situation is I would talk to someone who had experienced that and was older and wiser than me and just just glean from that person's wisdom and experience of how to walk uh, through it and work through those things. So um, yeah, that's where I'm currently at with that issue. And um, thanks so much. That's a great question. And keep sending those uh, questions. I really love answering them. And just it makes me think about things and just... Uh, um, just for myself, you know, like, what do I really believe about some of these things? So it's, it's really helpful for me and for my personal growth as well. So keep doing that, and um, I'll see you next time.